Okay, we're getting ready to put this back together. Now, to, to line this up, you want to have the flat part. Show it like that. The flat part goes to the to the top when you have it upside down like that. So you line, and those things are keyed together, so they they line up. So you put your belt on, and if it moves a little bit, it won't really matter. Make sure it's hard to see in this light. Make sure you have the top lined up on both sides. Push it down good. Make sure it's down seated. Okay, you put this belt on. Remember the top goes over to the right hand side. And this is the only part that's a little tricky. Just getting it on there. Gotta turn it. Ah, there we go. And then make sure that the fan's spinning and it is. So everything's good there. When you put this bottom plate on, you just make sure you have these little tabs here. And these little slots here so you don't get it in the wrong spot. Put that on. On either side, make sure it's in right. You can kind of lift up a little bit to make sure. Okay, then you should be able to just slide. What? You should be able to just slide these clips back on if it's on right. It that don't look on right. Hold on. I can't kind of, I'm at a bad angle. Push this thing forward. So there it's on. Okay. Now it'll, it'll clip right up. And just pop, pop that on on that side. It's too a little tight. We got something. I must have missed a tab a little bit. All right. Okay, that goes on easy. When it goes on easy, it's right. If it doesn't, then something's not lining up properly. Something's too long. Went under it. All right, hold on. There's something caught in here. There's a little rubber seal around the front here that you want to try to make sure you get in good. All right. Here it goes. This is only the first time we've taken this apart, so make sure I feel that it's in and that's in. Okay, that should be right right there. That's right. Okay, put that one in. That's under. There it is. Make sure that's right. Alright. Everything's still turning. Alright. That's how it is. If you want, you can wipe your fingerprints off so you don't leave anything there. And I'll just use the Dyson back the DC25 with a vacuum hose to kind of suck everything out underneath here while I had it upside down. So if you have another vacuum or you have a whisk broom or something you can clean it. So that's about it. So uh, I'm gonna put the links to this down on the bottom in the video description and keep watching uh, our channel because we're gonna put more videos up using this vacuum. So uh, we appreciate you watching our unboxing and, and short demo and everything and please subscribe and uh, hit like for us, and if you have comments or questions, please ask us, and we'll be happy to try to help you. If Thanks you, for watching. If you like this vacuum and you want one, go to, go to our Amazon link, and it'll go straight to the vacuum. All right. Thanks.